So okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and light up a lighter and take it close to the sensor. And uh, you're going to see all three windows getting updated. And you may see a, a, a light, uh, another red light uh, coming on on this side. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. Today we're going to be building a project uh, which has to do with uh, a silent killer, carbon monoxide detector. So what is carbon monoxide? Um, basically, it's a, a, a gas uh, which is actually is colorless, tasteless, and odorless. So since we cannot smell it, it is harder to detect uh, without having a, a meter or some kind of detector. So we're going to be building that. And uh, if you have excessive level of carbon monoxide build up in your house, it, it could be a very problematic and, uh, um, and it could be a fatal. So I'm planning to build these and I'm going to put these in uh, every room. So to build this project, we're going to be using uh, Vimos Mini D1 and uh, MQ7, which is a carbon monoxide sensor. This is going to be a very simple uh, setup. So before I get into details, I just want to share, uh, I did some searches and tried to look for what levels are safer inside. And uh, this is what I found. Some of the resources I Googled, uh, I see that anything um, under, you know, a nine um, PPM is recommended. And uh, my room actually, and the where I have is set up, it's pretty warm and it's showing anywhere from three to uh, four PPM. And uh, there are other levels and I'm just sharing this information with you guys so you understand uh, why it's critical to have the carbon monoxide detectors in your house. So let's move on to building this uh, small project. So for this project, we're gonna be using uh, Vimos Mini and uh, MQ seven uh, sensor they're not that expensive they're cheap uh, if you order from ebay or um, some other resources it takes a while to get them but uh, you know they're cheaper if you can get them from china so uh, here are uh, four pins on it so this one is five volt ground and uh, we're not going to be using this pin and this is uh, a zero which is analog pin that we need to connect so first what we do is we connect um, A0 to the A0 pin right here and then we take the ground of the mini and it connect it to the ground and then we take 5 volts and connect that to the 5 volts. Um, just to keep in mind uh, once you hook it up uh, you're gonna see a light coming on LED on the back side of it and this module gets a little warm uh, because the way it works is it actually heats up the air around um, and then does the measurement so don't worry about it if it's a little bit warmer so next we're going to do is we're gonna upload the sketch to it and also link it up to a home assistant using Node-RED and also we're gonna hook it up with the blink so we can uh, monitor the measurements outside of our network so next what you need to do is uh, you need to go into the home assistant and go to the config file and uh, go down to uh, the sensor tag right there and you need to add following code so basically uh, this is the mqtt um, setup for the sensor so the name of the sensor carbon monoxide and here's the topic uh, for the mqtt and the measurement name and then uh, this is the code that takes in the value from the json and then uh, converts into a, a float value so once you uh copy paste uh this code right here uh, you save and, and you need to restart your uh, home assistant before we can flash the sketch we're gonna go ahead and we need to download this library i'm using this library uh, that works with the mq7 uh, sensor uh, makes it much much easier uh, instead of writing your own code uh, so uh, you need to download this and place it into the Arduino library folder so I uploaded the sketch uh, onto the github right here you need to go into this project and you need to 
uh, download this um, sketch and uh, flash it. So next what you need to do is you need to go into your um, cell phone and go into the um, Play Store and install the Blinky app and register. Uh, open up the app and go in and then click on a new project. So we need to create a new project. So we're going to select a board type first and we're using um, Vimos D1 Mini. So we're going to make sure we select that and say OK here. And the Wi-Fi is fine. Uh, you can change the theme if you want. Next what you need to do is put a project name in there. So I'm going to call it Carbon Monoxide and click Create. And then it will tell you that it sent a token for this project and check your mail. So I'm going to say OK. And next I'm going to go to my email. And you can see this email right here I just received. I click on it. And here's my token. I need to copy it. So once you download your sketch and open up an Arduino IDE, uh, there are a few things you need to modify. Uh, the first one is to, um, you need to get the authentication token uh, for the app you created on your Blink mobile app. Once you create an app, you will get an email and you copy paste that uh, from your email to here. And uh, also you need to enter your SSID and SSID password. Uh, this is on the main sketch file. Um, on the other uh, file, um, what you need to do is you need to make sure you change the IP address to your MQTT server and the port you're using. If you're using default port, you can leave it as is. Uh, username and the password. And those are the only settings you need to change. And after that, you're ready to uh, flash your sketch. So after the home assistant is restarted, so we're going to go ahead and create a new flow. So the very first thing we're going to need is uh, we're going to uh, get the data that we need uh, from the MQTT um, server. So we're going to go ahead and look for a node MQTT, so from the input. So we're going to drop this here. And we're going to double click it. And I already have uh, my MQTT server set up. Uh, if you want to know how to do this, uh, please watch my previous video on the MQTT. And in here, we're going to be putting our topic. So we're going to copy paste the topic here, the same one that we put it in, in our config file. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And that's all I need to do here. And I'm done. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a debug node. So I want to see what it's going to print. And I'm going to connect it. And I'm going to deploy it. And then let's wait. And when this is, is connected, uh, we're connected. And let's look at the debug. What are we getting? So at this point, we are getting uh, the JSON uh, payload uh, from the uh, Vimos Mini that is sending to MQTT. and then we're actually uh, uh, subscribing to it and then displaying it here. So let's look at that. So this is a partial message. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the full message and see how we need to subtract these values. So I'm going to go ahead and double click here on the debug node and then go into uh, setting in output and select complete message object. And then we're going to say done. I'm going to deploy it. And we're going to see how uh, this uh, message is going to come through. So now if you look at it, um, basically the JSON object right here and uh, it has the topic name, it has the payload which has the uh, uh, value PPM and an actual value with that and there's some other parameters. So what we need is we need to subtract this value from here. So we need to subtract this value and then uh, give it to the uh, dashboard node so that is going to display a graph in the UI for us. So um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, put in a function node in here. Yep, right there. So we're going to disconnect that from there. We're going to connect the MQTT to the function and then the function out to the um, debug node. And uh, what we're going to do is, um, as you can see, it's it's 
still there's no change it's just again that's the same uh, data that we were seeing directly from this node to the debug node so we need to uh, subtract this so to do that we're going to double click on our function and we're going to copy paste this code in here so in here what it's doing is is grabbing the message which is this message right here object and from there it's uh, grabbing the payload parameter or values so this is a payload parameter and these are the values it's grabbing since this is a string we need to convert it into json so this json.parse actually parses it to uh, into a json um, object and then i can say give me the value of ppm which is this ppm and it grabs me this value right here and this holds just this value not the whole text so now what i need to do is uh, since i'm sending ppm in their text so i just want to subtract this number value only from this whole text right here so what i do i tell it to split ppm which is this right there value whole value split from the space so this is a space so when it splits it it has two uh, arrays and i'm telling it to grab me the first one so this is a uh, since it has zero base index so i'm going to put in zero so it's going to give me just this value so once i get that value i assign that value to message.payload and i send that to uh, whatever node uh, the next uh, is connected to this function node and i say done here so now watch how uh, it's going to change right now you see all these values here so now when i deploy it and run it it's going to have much simpler uh, uh, output so now you can see the payload only has 3.8 instead of that long string so now we're going to go ahead and create a, a node red uh, dashboard uh, graph so for that we're going to go down and uh, look for it right here we're going to grab the chart um, node right here we're going to drop it and we're going to connect this function to the chart node right there and then we're going to double click it and then we're gonna um, and we're going to modify um, right here this group right there and in the group one we're gonna type in carbon monoxide and uh, just select home here um, and we're going to say update and next what we're going to do is we're gonna say a ppm here for the label and the rest we're gonna leave as is and we're gonna say done we're going to deploy it so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead open up another tab and we're going to type in our ip address 1880 in ui like that and hit enter and then it's going to take us to this graph and now you can see it's uh, giving us a live data right here on this chart uh, so so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move to setting up blinky um, and then uh, what we'll do is uh, uh, test it out, you know, uh, trying to increase the carbon monoxide and, and, and uh, see how the chart is changing and stuff like this. So um, next what we're going to do is we're going to drop a couple of components on this canvas. So we're going to click this add sign and we're going to go ahead and look for a graph, uh, a chart right here. We're going to take that and drop it in here. We can move it around where we want so we can drop it here now we're gonna go ahead and add a label we're gonna go ahead and add this label we're gonna click on it and add it so uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on play and then you can see the real-time data is coming here these are the last values to show and this is it's plotting the graph right here uh, this is a live graph you can go back an hour or six hours or what so this just started so you only see um, just uh, uh, data in the last few minutes or so so this is on the cell phone so you can be uh, away from your home and uh, you can um, monitor this and this is a very simple app and also you can actually uh, change the orientation of it and it shows so right now um, uh, it is showing a straight line because the, the data is not changing much. If I put my hand on the sensor, you should see it going up. Yeah, there you go. You can you know light up a match or a lighter close to the sensor or breathe on it uh, really hard and you'll see the changes coming in here. By the way, I mean, I have not calibrated this uh, sensor. 
um, I'm using it as is the way it came uh, to me and uh, I mean you do uh, need to make sure that you calibrate it uh, and uh, uh, get much more uh, accurate measurements uh, I mean the easiest way would be to actually uh, take it outside and, and measure the fresh air in the morning and see uh, what the level is and then make that as you know your uh, the fresh air level and then calibrate it to that to zero or whatever and then um, you know you can take it from there otherwise you would need some uh, chamber and stuff and some ex expensive equipment to uh, do some calibration demonstrating carbon monoxide sensor using Vimos mini d1 um, I have uh, three windows open up here Arduino serial window right here Next window is my cell phone. I have installed Blink app on it and configured the app uh, to plot the um, carbon monoxide data on it. I also have the Node Red uh, dashboard, which only has one uh, chart on it set up to show and demonstrate all three of them. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and light up a lighter and take it close to the sensor, and uh, you're going to see all three windows getting updated and you may see a, a, a light uh, another red light uh, coming on on this side so as you can see all three graphs are um, all three windows are getting updated in real time so um, this is it for this tutorial it's very simple um, I mean we can build on it I have other sensor that I'm thinking about adding to uh, this um, setup so let's see where we get with these so please go ahead and leave your feedback and let me know what you think of this project and what do you what do you like what do you like to see in a future project uh, thanks for tuning in and till next time bye